Hello, welcome to another session with OCD. Welcome to my workshop. Um, so what am I up to today? Um, I think we're at that sort of time of year where you go for days out, go down the coast, go out for picnics, that sort of thing. And uh, you know, you get crumbs in the car, you get people getting in the car with suntan lotion on. So today I'm going to give the leather a clean in the car. Um, you know, it's, it's warm weather at the moment, people get in, they get a bit sweaty, so I think it's nice to keep the leather fresh and, and clean. So we're going to give the uh, the uh, X3 a clean today on the inside. What I'm going to use is, um, <coughs> I've got uh, some leather cleaner and some leather protector from the uh, leather repair company. Um, really good products, really like them. Um, the um, the leather cleaner when you finished it actually the leather actually feels softer and cleaner and it's got a tremendous leather smell um, and when I bought the car I paid a lot of money to have the uh, leather interior upgraded and it's really nice to, to not only feel good leather but to smell it so and I really like my car to smell the leather and this has got a fantastic uh, fragrance afterwards to, to make the car smell really nice um, I'm not going to use this today but they also do, um, Leather Repair Company also do a, a detail spray which is really good. So today we're going to give it a good clean, but between cleans I sometimes use this um, detail spray and that also has a really nice leather smell as well. Um, so let's talk about tools and what I'm going to do. So I've got to put the, um, uh, the cleaner on, I've got a, a little leather brush, this one actually is a, a colour lock brush. So we'll use that and also I'm going to use a, um, a little microfiber pad in some places and a brush in others. That's to uh, get the cleaner on and then I'll use a separate uh, microfiber pad to put the protector on afterwards. Um, before we do that we're going to go over and hoover the car. And a couple of tools that I use, so hoover, that's an old term isn't it? We're going to vacuum the car. Um, so I've got a crevice tool and a brush. This is a nice soft brush so that when I pull where the stitching is you pull it apart a little bit and just hoover between it and the, the bristles just free up any little bits of grit and dust and, and crumbs that are there. Um, and then in some places you use a crevice tool. Always make sure the crevice tool is really either use a bit of emery cloth or uh, fine sandpaper to make sure there's no bits on it because the last thing you want to do is to scratch your leather. Um, and the other thing as well which is um, I found out to my cost it's worth putting gloves on not because of the products necessarily but because if you have a um, bit of a broken nail or a sharp nail you can actually scratch the leather with your nail as well. Um, and I found that to my cost on one of the cars that I had. So try try to put gloves on to protect the leather as well. Um, once we go over and clean it, we'll we'll wipe it off. We've got a couple of cloths here. One to wipe the um, cleaner off, and one to buff the um, protector once it's done. So let's go out and uh, and start work, shall we? Okay. So I hope you can see that. All right. I've, it's not the easiest thing to try and film. What I've done, I've reclined the seats right back so I can get right in underneath the uh, the back. Okay, so we'll we'll start off on the on the back of the seat. A bit plenty of that. Try and get it in all the little seams. Get the brush bristles and all the seams. 
and also all of the all of the stitching. As you would expect in my car nice and clean but this isn't the work the bit that gets likely to get dirty anyway but uh, I try to I try to do it methodically so I'll do one sort of section at a time And again, make sure you pick up all the stitching and all the seams. Now on the, this smooth leather, because it's because the, the car's in good condition and the leather's in good condition, you, although I'm using a brush, you could just as easily use a nice little applicator. So, up to you really. Um, you know what I'm like with this channel. It's, this isn't a, this is how you do it channel. This is a, channel that says this is what Martin is up to today so you can use a applicator certainly where you've got bits like this under the headrest where you might not be able to get the brush in to all the areas I think if you had a, a grubby leather interior then I would definitely recommend um, a brush because with a with a brush the bristles can get in all the little crevices and where all the stitching is and if you haven't freed freed up and hoovered out or freed up and vacuumed out shall I say the uh, crumbs and little foreign bodies in there then your your brush will definitely get them out And you know, already you can feel that getting that little bit smoother, where it really is clean. And like I said, this these were never going to be dirty, but you know, we've been down the down the coast the last few days, and you know, put you're on the beach, you put suntan lotion on, you get back in the car, bits of sand comes in, suntan lotion gets on the on the side, so. Rather than let it get there and attract other dirt, let's get it out.
there. Rather than clean, let's just do the headrest. That back. Now when I do the headrest, I always just do the front. That's the one area on the back that's likely to get, likely to attract uh, grease and dirt, I suppose, depending who you get in the car. I tend to do the front um, because I'm doing the, fr the front of, of the seat. When I do the back, then I'll do the, the sides and the back of the, of the headrest together with the back of the seat. So that's just the process that I use. But obviously, you do what what works for you work your own process out it's a bit like do we use a applicator or a, or a brush what works for you right let's uh, let's sort the camera out and do the do the base of the seat shall we hope you guys can see that all right so bit of a tight squeeze for an old git like me I need a, a young apprentice I think We, uh, I won't bore you with uh, doing this all over the car what I'll do, I'll just do this seat with a camera and uh, I'll do the rest of the car off camera because otherwise uh, I'll send you all to sleep I don't want to bore you too much Uh, again, this front bit is likely to be a bit that gets some tan lotion on it. If you get people getting in with shorts or something on, then uh, some tan lotion will come off their legs of this bit. Use an applicator in there, get right under there. Oh. Right, that's just about it, I think. Lovely and clean. Right, let's see if I can squeeze out of here now, shall we? Okay, so like I said, um, I'm not going to uh, 
uh, go around all the other bits and pieces because that would just bore you to tears. I've got to do, uh, obviously I've got to do the other front seat, armrest and all of the back seats um, and the back of the front seats I've got to do that and then when we come into the car um, this bit here um, that's leather so that needs cleaning the bit underneath is plastic come up to the dashboard all of all of the top of the dashboard uh, is all leather so that needs cleaning um, you come around to the door panels all the red is uh, leather um, the black underneath is plastic but then the top here all of this that's all leather so that needs cleaning the bit around the um, the sides and the top of the um, little uh, storage compartment that's all uh, that's all leather whereas that's plastic um, and that's it I think on rest obviously I don't know whether I did I mention that and I've got to do obviously there's four doors so I've got to do the uh, the door panels and all four so let me get on and carry on cleaning exactly the same way I've just done um, the the seat um, so I'll use my um, little brush and the applicator I'll get another um, cloth out because that one's a bit damp I'll do that round all of the seats and then uh, we'll uh, we'll start putting some protection on shall we so you go and make yourself a cup of tea make yourself comfortable hold on do some hard work see you in a little while okay so we're we'll do the steering wheel first And you just rub it on and then you leave it to dry and then once it's dry you go over it with a nice clean cloth and uh, and buff it you don't have to put a lot on it goes a long way it spreads well But it really does last well. You know, like I said before, not only does it leave a really nice smell of fresh leather in the car, I don't know, is that the right term, fresh leather? I don't know. But it leaves a nice leather smell in the car anyway. Um, but it just feels so soft afterwards. It really does make a difference, and it's sort of hard to believe, I suppose, because it's all all the leather is. Uh, dressed and got like a clear coat on it if you like but it really does feel nice and if you're going to grab the steering wheel every time you get in the car then you might as well grab one that feels good that's what I reckon and I'm always right because my wife said to me I suppose you're bloody perfect then and if she reckons I'm perfect I must be right steering wheel done Let's give that a couple of minutes. Actually, don't need to, it's dry already.
so there we are all nice and clean smells absolutely delightful absolutely delightful really pleased with that it's a really good product it's a joy to use because it makes the car look and smell so nice afterwards there's the front all nice and clean uh, it just feels so nice and really does feel nice now I need to do the rest of the inside that's a job for tomorrow I think not only for your car but uh, for your bike as well Give that a few minutes to properly dry and we'll put some protection on there as well. So lovely and soft. There we go guys, quite a simple job, not particularly quick because there's, on that there's quite a lot of leather, um, but it's a, it's a well worthwhile job. And the smell, oh, oh, you, if you haven't tried these products, then when you next buy leather cleaner, um, it's worth considering them because they are, they are effective, it's, that's a good cleaner. Uh, and that's a good protector but the smell afterwards the beautiful smell of leather afterwards and like I said earlier they got a detail spray that um, smells of leather as well uh, and that in itself the car smells lovely now um, so there we are a, uh, a little bit of a freshen up inside lovely nice clean leather um, and I used a couple of uh, applicators um, both the cloths are clean as you would expect you wouldn't expect me to get much dirt off the inside of my car would you um, so yeah good afternoon's work I think right I think I deserve a cup of tea and a piece of cake so until next time you guys take care bye bye